Okay, you guys, so over the past couple of days, I was starting to look at kind of our homework assignments and I realized that a bunch of them uh, just gave a summary statistic. So, you know, consider over here, I've got this example. Um, so this is like example one and example two. So the first one is like comparing two means to each other. So we've got group one and group two, and we have uh, for each of the groups an X bar, a standard deviation, and a sample size. And currently how our commander is running uh, the only way to like really do this well in our commander is if we have the raw data but sometimes we are just given the summary data and so what i had been having you do is actually go through kind of our um, our flow chart figure out which equations that we should do and manually calculate it and i decided that that was kind of like way over the top so i started diving into our commander to see if there was a menu that i had missed uh, I started looking at other pieces of code. Anyways, long story short is that I found a plugin for our commander for when we're doing our hypothesis testing, when we're doing like two sample or one sample t-test or z-test um, that will let us actually do the calculations with summary data instead of the raw data. So what you're going to have to do is go ahead and open up our studio and inside of our studio uh, you can go ahead and click on packages and this is where we normally go and we like click on our R commander uh, to open up our commander and it goes ahead and works. All right, you need to install an additional little package here. So go click on install and you're going to type rcmdr and then plugin plugin dot and then nmbu and we've got this plugin right here you're going to click on it click the install dependencies if it's not clicked and then click install so i already have mine installed but you click install you follow the install package uh, and you should be good to go now when you go down to your R Commander, you're going to have these three R Commander uh, packages now. You got the original R Commander, R Commander Miscellaneous, and R Commander Plugin dot NMBU. So it's a plugin for university level applied statistics. Instead of clicking on R Commander, this time we're going to click on R Commander Plugin. Go ahead and click on it. And it's going to go ahead and try to go through the loading sequence. Maybe it hasn't yet. Okay and yeah so if it's done it correctly you're going to see this nmbu in a couple of places now um where it's some like additional tools in our commander that this package adds in well one of them that it adds in is we can now go to statistics means and check it out we can do a z test and let's do a two sample let's do our example right here that we're looking at and let's do a t test to sample t-test summarize data and we can go ahead and click on that and check it out now it pops up and it just asks us okay for group one what was the mean well we had 10 and then for group two we had 12 and then our sample size for group one was 31 sample size for group two was 57 and then the standard deviation for group one was three and the standard deviation there was 4.3 4.3 Okay, and if we think that there actually is a difference, mu1 minus mu2, we can put it in uh, if we want to, uh, but we, we don't need to at all because for our class, we're just going to go with the baseline assumption. And then we can say, okay, do we think that is there a difference? Is one greater than the other? Is one less than the other? And then for our confidence level, you can adjust it and you can say, do we want to assume equal variances or not? Now, in the, uh, in the homework section right now, it, uh, if it's... Um, how my open math is covering it is if it doesn't say to assume equal variances that you don't assume equal variances um, but we also have kind of our rule of thumb um, remember that if the large sample standard deviation is less than or equal to two times the small sam sample standard deviation uh, that we can assume equal variances but just so you're not so lost on the homework for the homework, if it doesn't say assume equal variances, don't assume the equal variances. Okay, and then look, we can just go ahead and click OK. And I can come over to my R Studio, 
and check it out. So it does my two sample t-test, it gives me my t-score, my degrees of freedom, my p-value, gives me my alternative hypothesis, true difference in means is not equal to zero, and it gives me my confidence interval, and it gives me my differences. So check it out. Like that was super easy for how to do uh, a two sample uh, t-test for independent uh, means and so that was without equal variances now let's go ahead and say uh, let's do the exact same thing again two sample so we have to type it in again no big deal so it's 10 uh, sorry 10 12 31 uh, what is this 57 3 and 4.3 and let's say we assume equal variances this time and we click OK. And we come down here. Now we've got a two sample t test. And we assume that, look, we can say the variances are true. And this gives us a alternative way to do our calculations. And you notice they're a little different. The t scores are a little different. The degrees of freedom are a little different. The p values are a little different. Uh, but that's how you would go through and do the two sample, um, two sample test of the means. Now, if we just have the summary data for um, for a difference, for like our matched pairs, uh, remember we can consider that as just like a one sample t-test. And we could put in, this would be the mean of the differences, the total number of samples, and the standard deviation of the differences for that matched pair. So we can do matched pairs in here with summarized data too. So the last one that I want to do is covering how we do our a summary data for a... Um, Oh, for two proportions. So here I've got this group one and group two, and we have something that we're interested. So maybe this group one, group two is like men and women, and did you vote or not? And so of the men, 100 said that they voted, 145 said they did not. Group two of the women said like 132 said yes, they voted, and 200 said they're not. And we want to compare are the proportion of people, of men who voted different from the proportion of women who voted. Okay. And so, you know, if we look at the sums, like the total number of group one, let me just do a sum real quick. Because sometimes it'll say that, like, they sampled, let me put totals there. And uh, we can then say that, okay, so 100 people said yes out of the 245, and then 132 out of the 332 said yes from the group two. Anyhow. Uh, so we can break it down like this. Now check this out. So if we go to statistics, proportions, we can do two sample proportion tests. And it just asks for the number of successes and the number of failures. So this first column is of group one and the next column is of group two. So group one for us, we'd say 100, number of successes. So that'd be our yeses. Number of failures, 145. And then we do 132. And we could do... 200 for the number of failures. All right, and then we can set our confidence level. We can say if it's two-sided or not. We'll leave the test as normally approximate, and we'll do just the pooled sample proportion. Um, there's some other options for some more advanced testing, but this is what we need for right now. And we can go ahead and click OK. And there it goes. It has our successes and our failures, group one and group two. And it gives us a z-score and the degrees of freedom. Um, and then our p-value. And I mean, it just it kicks it all out for you. So we've got a two sided and it says, look, two sample uh, test for equality of proportions without continuity correction. And we banged it out. So uh, so that's how you would do it if you wanted to use the sample uh, or the summary data for both um, for doing two samples and we're looking at means or for looking at two samples for the proportions. So hopefully that that helps you out. I apologize that I did not get this out sooner. I didn't know about this whole package until I really started diving into it. Um, but anyways, hope that that gets you well on your way and uh, good luck on your assignments.